Hey friends, it's Rana and today we are going to see how many books have I bought so far in 2022 and how much money have I spent on them. I was originally planning to make this video at the end of the year like one book haul video for the entire year but for some reason I decided to make it now and you will know why in the next video but for now let's see how much money I spent on books in 2022 so far. I will be talking about the prices of the books in my country's currency which is Jordanian dinar but I will put the amount in US dollar on the screen for easier understanding of my international viewers. So let's start talking about the books and have a somewhat light start with the prices with this small poetry collection book by Christina Rossetti and it is called Goblin Market. It is by Penguin Little Black Classics collection. I like these editions i really like to collect them i think i have around four and i'm planning to buy more of them of course with books that i'm interested in this one it is a small collection of christina's uh, poetry and it starts with the goblin market her most famous poem i liked the first poem goblin market but the rest were my favorite especially the one she talked about death in them i really enjoyed them this one I bought for uh, 1 GD, JD and 25 cent. I know it is more expensive here than its original price, which was supposed to be like 80 pence in the UK, but books are relatively more expensive here in Jordan. Then we have another poetry collection book called Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. I didn't read this one, but I heard many great things about it. I know I sound like a poetry nerd here, but I like reading some poetry from time to time. It is the English literature student in me, but this one I bought for three JDs. Next we have a book split into two, and if you watch my videos regularly, you're gonna guess what it is, because is it really a book whole video by me if I didn't show you at least one Brandon Sanderson book. Hmm. This time it is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson part one and part two. Each one of them I bought for 12 JDs, the first one and the second one, which means I spent 24 JDs on both of them. I read the first book Wave Kings last year at the end of it and I enjoyed it. It was a little bit slow and boring at times but I gave it four stars. This one I read earlier of 2022 and I really really loved it. It was amazing and gave it five out of five stars but you are not here to hear what I rated these books but to know how much I spent on them. Next we have surprisingly another Brandon Sanderson book, Authorbringer part one and Authorbringer part two, the third book in this epic series. Uh, I'm currently reading the first part and it is taking me way longer time reading it more than the first two books. Each one of the first two books took me one month to finish reading, but this one I spent 15 days reading half of the first part and I'm nowhere near the end. And I don't know why, maybe because it is from the point of view of my least favorite character, Dalinar. And the characters that I love, which are Kaladin and Shalan, don't have that much parts. And their parts are pretty shorter than Dalinar's. So I'm kind of bored by reading from the point of view of Dalinar. That's why it is taking me so long to finish. I am estimating that it's gonna take me two months to finish these two parts. This one I think I can manage to finish by the end of September and this one which is longer than the first part I think it's gonna take me another month in October. I might take a break between these two parts because I'm planning to do some stuff in October and November. If I had the time to squeeze some reading time for the, uh, this one I might but we will see. As for how much I spent on them well this bookstore doesn't really put tag prices directly on the cover of the books which I really appreciate but I'm not pretty sure which or how much I spent on them either it is 9 GDs each or 10 GDs but I'm gonna count it as 10 to be on the safe side so these books are 20 GDs both of them then I found this gem of a book I still haven't read it but I bought it 
when we went to the airport to pick up my uh, aunt's family there when they came to visit us in Jordan and I found it to be on half a price which is The Silence of Girls by Pat Parker. I have been eyeing this book for so long but for some reason it is somehow expensive in Jordan. I don't know why. Uh, when I saw it in the bookstore at the airport it was half price as the sticker like to remind me and I'm really afraid to remove it now so it will stay here for a while. I bought it for 7.5 JDs which is a reasonable price for it and I bought it. I really like this cover. I know not many people like this book but I am a sucker for a Greek myths retelling so I bought it. All the books I showed you so far were all acquired from different places on different times but from now on these books I'm gonna show you I acquired from the same place so I'm gonna talk about them all collectively. The first three books I bought and I have here are all from the same place. I went downtown with my friends one day and I saw this cheap pretty cheap bookstore and bought three books. The first one I bought from there is Being Mortal by Atul Gawande. This book is a medical non-fiction book and I really want to read more of this type of books because I quite enjoy them. I haven't read it yet but I will in non-fiction November. This one I bought for 3 JDs. The other two books from the same place I bought in Arabic. I don't buy that much Arabic books and I don't read them as much but this one, the first one is called Ra'aytu Ramallah by Murid Barhuthi or the title English would be I saw Ramallah, which Ramallah is a Palestinian city. I'm not quite sure if it is a non-fiction book or a historical fiction book because I haven't read it yet, but, but I will know when I read it. This one also I bought for 3 JDs. And the third and last book I bought from that place was also 3 JDs and it is لا تقولي أنك خائفة by Josebeh Katatusilla which was translated to Arabic from Italian by Muawiyah Abdul Majid. This book is a fiction book inspired by um, the real story of a Somalian runner who tried to go to Europe by swimming in the sea and she died there trying to reach Europe. I believe that's what the book is about. I'm not quite sure yet because I also haven't read this book yet. The next place that I went to and bought some books from is the annual book charity sale that I discovered last year and bought some pretty good, cheap and good, in good condition books. This time, oh, I bought from there this year four books and the first one I'm gonna talk about is the only Arabic book I bought from there and it is apparently quite unknown and a new book because I didn't find it listed on Goodreads. I'm gonna add it to, to Goodreads when I read it, but it is called وَتَبْقَى أَسْجَارُ الْكَرَزْ تُزْهِرُ فِي قَلْبِ دَوْمًا by Samir Isa Naouri. It is apparently a biography by Samir Isa Naouri, which is an ambassador, who a, a diplomatic figure who served some years in Japan. And in this biography, he talks, or memoir, I think, it, is, it talks about his time there in Japan. I'm not quite sure, again, because I still haven't read it. The next book I bought there is in a pretty bad condition, but I bought it anyway. It is The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara King Solver. I heard some really good things about this book and it is quite popular outside of booktube and the book community online, but this one, it was really well read and loved by whoever read it because there are annotations and dog ears and for some reason it is my first time seeing anyone dog earing their books from the bottom of the page. Am I gonna read it anytime soon this year? No, but I'm gonna read it in the future hopefully. The next book I bought there is The Testament by John Grisham. Another book by this gentleman that I bought and haven't read yet. I previously bought another book by him called a time to kill it was also second hand for some reason but i have still not read anything by him but i really am interested in his books because he is really big in the crime thriller mystery scene and i really wanted to see 
what the hype is about. So I bought another book by him. This one is in a pretty good condition. And the last book I bought from the charity book sale, I think it is my best find this year. And it is Korea from Rags to Riches by the Korea Institute of Public Administration. I think this book is pretty new. No one even read it. It is, I don't consider it secondhand because look how crisp and new the papers are and I really love all the pictures. This one talks about how Korea developed and the history of Korea from 1950 to 2010. And if you know me, you know, I love me Korea and Korean history. I'm really interested in Korea as a whole, as a country, from K-pop to K-drama to the history and the culture and society of it and the language. So I was really happy when I saw this one. So all of these books I got for 9 GDs, which is pretty cheap given one of them is a new hard pack with colored pages. So I'm really happy about them. I know I went pretty late this year to the book sale in the last couple of days. So I didn't find much good books because most of them has already been bought. So next year I'm gonna go in the first or the second days to find me some good books. And the last place I went to and bought some books from is Amman International Book Fair. I went on the first and fifth days and bought these seven books. My previous video was like a mini tour, vlog and a book haul of all the books I bought there. But we are here today to talk about the prices of these books. The first book I bought is an Arabic book called Imsad by Ghassan Kanafani. A really short story I bought for half a JD, which is pretty cheap given that it is sold for two to three JDs outside of the book fair. So I bought it for half a JD. The next one is another Arabic book. I know I've been buying more Arabic books lately because I really want to get back to reading Arabic books. And it is Raqaiq al-Quran by Ibrahim Omar Sakran, a non-fiction Islamic book that my friend recommended to me. And I bought it for three JDs. It was pretty cheap, I don't know. No, I know <laughs> why Arabic books are cheaper than English books because it, they are imported. English books are imported from outside the country. Now for the English books, the first one we have, surprise, surprise, another Brandon Sanderson book, which is uh, Rhythm of War, part one and part two. This one, it costed me nine JDs for the first part and my duties for the second part. For some reason, this bookstore or book publisher or whatever always put the price tag on the front of the book, which was really annoying. I still haven't removed them because I'm afraid of ruining the cover, but I am really happy that I found them because they were published, this edition was published in July of this year and I haven't found it anywhere because, you know, importing books and whatever takes time. So I found it there in the book fair and I was pretty happy that I found them. 18 JDs for both. The next book was a really surprise for me to find there because I really wanted to buy this book and read it for some time. And I found it there and I was really happy to find it. And it is War Doctor by David Mott, a nonfiction book about this man here, a doctor who takes unpaid leaves every year and go to torn war-torn countries to help people there. I really was happy to find this book. I found it from the same distributor. Uh, it is for 9 JDs too. I don't mind the price but because I really am happy to find it. I'm gonna read it also in Nonfiction November. And the last two books we have, they are the main reason I went to the book fair and they are The Kingdom of Copper and The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraperty. The second and third books in the Day the Bad trilogy. I read the first book last month or the month before and I really liked it and want to continue this series. So I went specifically to the book fair to buy these two books and I found them on the first day and bought them. I was really happy to find them but I was quite surprised of the size of these books, they are quite thick. The Kingdom of Copper was 8 JDs and The Empire of Gold was 9 JDs. So in total, I bought 21 books. I tried to carry them all for you to see, but they are quite heavy, so I couldn't. But which means 21 books over nine months. That's quite a lot for me, to be honest. And they all costed me 121.25 JDs. In US dollar, that would be 
Oh my god, my poor heart. I know some of you all spend way more than that number on books each month, not in nine months. And I know it is different situation, different salaries, different countries and way of livings, but 171 US dollar on books is quite a lot for me. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me expose my book buying habits. Please like and subscribe to see my next video, which will be an announcement, a pretty important one resulted from this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.